So my name is Jay Marie Hill. I'm the Transgender Education and Advocacy Program Coordinator here at the ACLU of Missouri. And I'm Tony Rothard, the Legal Director for the ACLU of Missouri. Thank you for your work. So we're here today to talk about the two recent Missouri Supreme Court cases. Can you tell us what these two cases were about? Uh, there, are, there are two cases decided the same day that are somewhat related. Uh, one's called the Lampley case, and that's about uh, someone who alleges that his employer uh, treated him badly because he was gay. Mm -hmm. And uh, the RMA case, which is a student, uh, a trans student at a uh, school, uh, complaining that he wasn't allowed to use the appropriate uh, bathroom and locker room. Got it, okay. So, and what, you know, what exactly did, did they decide and why, why are they significant, these two cases? So the Missouri Supreme Court decided for the first time in, in Missouri that uh, Missouri's anti-discrimination law uh, can apply to uh, transgender individuals uh, and to LG, gay and lesbian individuals as well. Um, so uh, the Supreme Court basically said that the courthouse is open for these kind of complaints mm -hmm. and doesn't mean you, you, you win your discrimination case, but until now there was never even a way to uh, get to court or to have a state agency investigate uh, whether or not there was unlawful discrimination. Got it. Okay, so then we're only back in terms of like right now for those of us like who are trans and GNC. How does this impact our life right now? Does it impact things immediately? Do we have to wait? Um, you know, it, it, it impacts your life right now. Oh. Um, you know, Missouri's Human Rights Act ha has always prohibited uh, sex discrimination in housing and employment and in public accommodations. And what the Supreme Court uh, recognized uh, is that uh, trans individuals can be discriminated against uh, because they're not meeting uh, traditional sex stereotypes that their landlord or their employer expects them uh, to comply with. And um, and not meeting sex stereotypes is sex discrimination. Yeah. So that's what the Supreme Court said is, uh, you know, that's already illegal. Uh, right. And uh, that discrimination is unlawful. You can uh, file a, a complaint with the Missouri Commission on Human Rights. They have to investigate it. Uh, you can get a right to sue letter and, and bring a lawsuit if you have been discriminated against. Wow, that's great. That's really helpful. So you said employment, housing, and public accommodations. Public accommodations. Absolutely, that's awesome. Okay, great. So lastly, I think the main thing is, do we still need Mona, or like, what should yeah. we do with that fight? We still need Mona. Okay. Uh, we, we Mona, been... yeah, Mona, by the way, is the Missouri Non-Discrimination Act, which applies explicitly, um, is, a, is a piece of legislation that applies explicitly to people um, trying to rid the world of discrimination, the Missouri of discrimination, um, both on the basis of gender identity and sexual orientation. Yeah. We still need those explicit uh, protections for gender identity and, and sexual orientation. Uh, while, while these decisions are, are huge and, and fantastic, they still require uh, a trans individual to, to go to court and, and prove that the discrimination happened uh, because they were not meeting these traditional sex stereotypes that they were expected to meet mm -hmm. uh, based on the, the perception of their of their gender uh, by their employer or, or their landlord or a shop owner. Um, you know, that's that's a hurdle. Yeah. Uh, totally. that, that's something else that you need to prove. Right. So while it's great news that mm -hmm. the door to the courthouse is open, yeah. there's still that extra step that people have to prove uh, beyond just sexual orientation or gender identity discrimination. And uh, we want to live in a fair Missouri where yeah. we don't discriminate based on uh, sexual orientation or gender identity. So uh, Mona will help get us there. Got it. Well, thank you, Tony. This has been so helpful. For those who are watching and, and want to make sure that they are in the know about what to do next, we encourage you to join our trans and um, gender nonconforming kind of base and join our email list. Make sure you uh, you know look out on the website, look out on the, on Facebook, on social, for all the different ways that you can be involved. Um, go to a lobby day coming up. Um, we have ours coming up on March 13th, but we really encourage you to get involved. And in the meantime, just keep keep it keep your head up and let's let's keep fighting.